Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are doing well by the grace of God. So this man here, his name is King David. He is from Cameroon but lives in Ghana. According to him, he said that he is under grand militant for Jesus Christ. And when he prayed that the angel of God appeared to him, that what the angel of God told him about T.B. Joshua as well as T.D. Jax is very shocking after BBC documentary. So my people, I would love you guys to relax and let's listen to him and hear what he said because he said that it's very shocking, that he's going to shock you. So let's listen to him and I will be right back. After serious and critical prayers, I asked Jesus in 2023, what is going on? Give me revelation concerning Bishop T.D. Jakes. He waited and waited and waited. Again in 2024, I saw the incident concerning Prophet T.B. Joshua. The Lord said, now I can speak to you. An angel appeared to me. And what this angel told me was very shocking. I'm a man who does not come out unless God speaks. And I've been like this for 12 years. Anyone who knows about me. I am an underground militant for Jesus. And I only live by the voice of God and the word of God. Listen to me. Bishop T.G. Jakes is on the western side of the world. Prophet T.B. Joshua, who, who is in glory, is on the what? The eastern part of the world. The angel spoke to me that many are already blinded by these two incidents. Because the Bible said that whatever is hidden must be exposed. Whatever is consumed must be brought in the open. The Bible said we will not speak all by what we hear, but by the Spirit. When you fast intensively, and carefully, and committedly, very dedicatedly, very sensitively, to hear the voice of God concerning anything on the earth, he will tell you. Many just hear the flesh, what they see, what they hear, and they speak. I'm not like that. I want to tell you the revelation of what is going on. T.G. Jakes is alive. Prophet T.B. Joshua is in heaven. So, what according is going to him, on? he said that there is something Joshua that is God is releasing I don't know how he knows. in heaven on the earth. The devil and his agents and fallen angels are using the image of these two men to distract the church in the east and the west of the world. Hear me very well. There is a revival that God is prepared to birth in 2024 in the black church in America that's going to it will be like Azuzu. You know Azuzu? It will be huge. Not just a black church, but also it's going to revive the church in the West. The enemy have seen that, so it's distracting so many Christians from not seeing this. It's not about Prophet T.B. Joshua and, and Bishop T.G. Jakes. It's what you don't see in the spirit. Okay. When the, the, when they saw, look at Moses. Pharaoh and his sorcerer saw about Moses. They killed all the first boys, all the babies, so that they can abort what Moses was going to bring as a deliverer. Look at what they saw when Herod saw about Jesus. They killed all the young boys just to abort that. In this time, the devil cannot kill you physically, but he can kill your faith, kill your revelation, kill your eyes, what you hear, kill your eyes, what you see. And because the Bible said there'll be a great falling away, many Christians can just hear anything and believe. The stories you are hearing, that's not what is in the spirit. There are spirits that are seeing what is coming into the church and are doing everything to distract because the incident about TGJ happens around the ending of the year. The incident about prophecy Joshua has happened around the beginning of the year. The names, TG, TB. You have to think about it. These things are already written in the heaven. The spirit of prophet T.B. Joshua is about to revive the prophetic ministry in correcting it, in pruning it, in adjusting it. And also God about the power the spirit of love. And that man was known for divine love. So his prayer was that a double portion of God's love will come on the earth. So God is releasing the spirit of love. And when love is released on the earth, the devil cannot operate. Listen to me. It is like a tear gas. It's like a toxin in the satanic kingdom. Divine love. So the devil is doing everything to distract the church in the east. Because the spirit of love is coming. 
This is what the angel was telling me. And also, the spirit of bold revival in the West. The devil is doing everything. So this is about revivals that are coming on the earth. The spirit of boldness, the spirit of love. So Lucifer has orchestrated all of these things through those who were offended, through those who were angry, through weaknesses of the flesh. So what you see, it might look right. It might look well. It might seem well organized. But Lucifer, the Bible says, comes like an angel of light. People's mind who are not connected to God, Satan can use them easily and make it look well. So those of you who are speaking things you do not know, hold your tongue. Hold your tongue because you can place a curse that you don't know. Look at what happened to Miriam, the, the sister of Moses. He spoke what she did not know and she received a curse. Many people who are out there claiming to expose Prophet T.B. Joshua or T.G. Jakes, listen to me, you are bringing curses on you. You don't know what you are saying. Even David could not touch Saul when he had an opportunity to kill him because he knew that he was God's servant. So you have to be very wise with those who are listening. Those who are walking with immature mind. You don't know what is happening behind the scene. The devil is busily distracting the church. The lost mind. He, there are many things that are happening behind the scene. God's 2024 plans is to revive the church with boldness and love. And that's what these spirits are. They are bringing it down. Many things are prepared to happen on the earth. So the enemy will, will use men of God that are very famous. What about those who are not famous who, who have done things that are not correct? So Satan will use those who are doing what is correct and try to spoil their name because they know that if I can touch TVG Jake, if I can touch Prophet TVG Joshua, they are very famous. So people can talk about it. There are many things you don't see. Satan is a deceiver. His agents are deceiver. There's a way that seems good to man, but the end of destruction. Be very careful. God said darkness will rise, gross darkness, but the light of God will shine. In the midst of all of this, the angel said that the church of Jesus Christ is about to be washed. It's about to be purified. It's about to be cleansed. That God is about to change the church into a kingdom. So the devil now wants to bring distraction, gossip, slander, disunity, to scatter the move. So Satan is watching you guys like a film, like a movie. He said, look, it's working. Men and women of God fighting each other. Children of God fighting each other. It's all over online. This is the devil's will and it's working. But us who are underground, the remnant who are truly in love with God, who know the will of God, we know what is happening. We might not be famous to say it. This is just my only medium to share this to you. That is a revival that's taking place. Trust me. God, the angel told me that God is mighty and is about to remove the cancer and the virus in the body of Christ. There are some characters that are got to be deleted. There are people who have prayed and fasted that are even died in heaven. That their prayers must be answered. The devil knows that prophet T.B. Joseph's prayers is about to be answered. What was the prayer? He prayed for a double portion of the prophetic ministry. He prayed for a double portion of God's love. So the devil knows that God is about to answer that prayer. So he rises up and do this. T.G. Jakes. It's, 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 a, it's, it's like an example of a revival that's coming in the Azusa Street. So we know that the devil is distracting the black church that's supposed to revive America. Please, guys, your eyes need to be open. Your ears need to be open. Because you are not seeing the bigger picture. Because you are in the flesh. Because what you hear, what you see, what you think, you just see anything and believe. You have to be spiritual, ruled by the Spirit of God. To be able to understand when somebody speaks and say this is a lie, this is a truth. We know what is happening. You cannot deceive us. We are the remnant. We are the, we are the militant remnant on the ground. We know what is happening. We know that these two men have prayed a kind of prayer that God is about to answer. T.G. Jakes and T.B. Joshua have prayed radical prayers that God is about to answer. That is about to revive the church. You don't even know it. Not even that. God is releasing the spirit of boldness and the spirit of love. Satan wants to distract you at all costs. And it's working. But some of us, it's not working. We know the truth. This is not about what, what T.G. Jakes or Prophet T.B. Joshua did. They might put it in the news. They might put it in documentary. People might talk about it. I'm not calling no names, but we know what's happening. It's a distraction. Everything you see around the world that is causing problems, Satan is distracting. They are distracting you from not knowing the truth. It is time for the church to be revived, to be reformed. For transfiguration to take place, to be transformed, 
to be healed, to come to a place of power, authority, and dominion, to operate under a kingdom satellite in the spiritual realm. God is releasing spiritual hotspots, spiritual Wi-Fi for what to connect to. It's time to take over territories to occupy. This is what is happening. Angels have been released. An angel appeared in my house the other day. And then he's speaking these things to me. So I'm telling you what I'm telling you. God is releasing the spirit of love. The spirit of bonus. Wake up church. A sleeping church. Wake up. Don't be injected by this virus of slander, of gossip, of, of, of conspiracy, of propaganda. All these things. Push it to the side. Open your heart to receive the spirit of the Lord that is coming down to revive the church in the end time. We are living in the critical end times. Ha! Ah, thank God for that angel. Be careful. Your mouth can curse you. Know the truth for yourself. Seek God's face. I was only hungry and thirsty. God sent an angel to speak to me while I'm sharing to you. That means that uh, there are many things out there that you are hearing that are not correct. I am an underground servant of God. I don't come out to speak unless God speak. Because I have to hear God clear and clean. And you can confirm those who are spiritual. I'm not talking about those in the flesh. What I'm speaking is the truth. And even your own eyes are open. Many people need to repent. If you are, if you are slandering and gossiping and you are angry, that's what Satan wants. To be angry, to gossip, to be offended, to be bitter, to be scattered, disunity, to call names, men and women of God competing and fighting. This is what you want. And you call yourself mature Christian. No, that's not maturity. That's immaturity. You forgive, you pray, you are not offended. You are supposed to be in the word of God fasting and praying. That's true Christianity. Are you seeing what I'm talking about? So, wake up. Wake up, oh sleeping church. Wake up, says the Lord. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Go to repentance, go to confession. When your brother and your sister is in a mistake, pray for them, correct them in gentleness. All of this mess that I'm seeing, people making videos upon videos, cursing men of God, cursing women of God. Some will stumble, you will make a video. Are you perfect? We rely on the perfection of Christ. We rely on the justification of Christ. The redemption of Christ. The finishing of the cross. You are fighting your brother now to make it to heaven. How? The Bible says when the, Jesus Christ never even, he never cursed Judah. Ju, uh, uh, Ju, uh, Judas. He never cursed him. He knew what he was supposed to do. It's up to him to repent. Listen to me. The time is now. It's not the time to be fighting each other. It's not the time to, to stumble is the time to be, arise and be awakened. Shalom. God bless you. To God be the glory. So guys, I hope you heard everything King David said here. According to him, he said that angel of God revealed to him that what is happening now is Lucifer that behind the BBC documentary, that it has been planned because God wants to revive the body of Christ, which is church. And this is the way the devil wants to bring the spirit of people down. That people should be careful because the devil is working so hard in order to destroy the body of Christ. But this year, God said that there shall be a revival. That people should be careful what they said so they will not bring curses to themselves. And this is the work of devil. That the uh, devil really wants to bring the body of Christ down. So my people, I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section about what he said here. But for me, I'm always telling people that you don't need to defend anyone or you don't need to casket anyone because you don't live with them. You don't know what these people are doing. You just need to believe in yourself and make sure that you have this strong relationship with God. So whenever all these things are happening, you have to allow the Holy Spirit, you know, to reveal it to you, to talk to you. So don't defend what you don't know. Because you don't know what these people are doing. So that is my own take here. I'm not here to condemn anyone. I'm not here to support anyone. What I'm always telling people is make sure that you know God by yourself. Don't allow people to deceive you. Know God by yourself. So that at the end of the day, and eh, when all these things are happening, Holy Spirit will talk to you to reveal the truth to you. So you don't need anybody to convince you to believe what a BBC documentary said or what they did not say. So it left for you to believe what you want to believe. So leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about what David said here? And share the video so that other people can get the opportunity to watch as well. Like the video as well. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye for now. Bye.